Christine and Maurice, you could see it in their faces. It took every ounce of strength Kathy and Phil Vetrano had to stay composed while describing in great detail the last time they saw their daughter Karina alive and then the devastating discovery of her murder. Kathy and Phil Vetrano both took the stand today, reliving the most devastating day of their lives, the day their daughter, Karina, was murdered while on a run in Howard Beach, Queens. This is the second trial for murder suspect Channel Lewis, his first trial ending in a hung jury. Kathy Vetrano didn't testify then, but did for the first time today, tearfully recalling her last conversation with Karina in the family's kitchen. Vetrano described her daughter as appearing beautiful as always. She vividly Vividly remembered Karina dressed in a black sports bra and shorts before she went out for a run. Then, later hearing her husband yell an expletive because Karina had been gone too long and wasn't answering her phone. Phil Vetrano testified Karina had asked him to go on the run with her, but he declined because he had injured his back. He told the court, I told her I don't think it's a good idea. And she said, Don't worry, I'll be okay. Vetrano said he called Karina by phone multiple times before heading out to look for her, then called an NYPD friend who launched a search. Vetrano's voice shook and he fought back tears, describing finding his daughter face down in the weeds in Spring Creek Park, lifting her body up to his and crying out, my baby, my baby, then telling police, I have to take her home, I have to take her home. Kathy Vetrano says her son was the one who ran home to tell her Karina was found. Moments later, her husband returned, and Vetrano said, We just grabbed each other, and we were just crying. Phil Vetrano was still on the stand when court recessed for the day. He will continue his testimony tomorrow morning. We're live outside Queens Criminal Court in Kew Gardens. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Okay.